welcome back again. So we're kind of back on the warpath now. Uh, we've got our uh, refactoring done. We're ready to actually do some create and update. So the nice thing is, is that really what we have to do is we have to do crud for a list and we have to do crud for a task. Uh, and a list is done, right? We've done create, read, update, delete. Um, and then as far as the task goes, the only one we've done is read. But in this video, we're gonna actually knock out two of them. We're gonna knock out the, the C and the U, right? So create and update. Uh, so that's our plan. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to have to pass some things into that view controller first. So we've mentioned like when we started that view controller that we're going to pass in, you know, either a list um, if it's a create so that they've got something to know who their parent is, or we're going to pass in a task because they'll be editing it. Now it turns out that we're actually going to go and pass in the list even if it is an edit um, because if you reset the same parent, that's no big deal. So what we want to do is we want to go figure out that passing in step first. So we're going to go over to the task view controller, not the detail, just the view controller. And we're going to pass in some things. So scroll to an area uh, that's commented out. So this area is commented out because we said we were a table view controller, so it put in some things for us. Some of them are useful, right? So prepare for segue. Uh, that is a, a useful thing. Um, other ones like this can move. Uh, these two that are that are related to moves, you can delete those. Um, commit editing style, we'll do something with that. Can edit, we'll do something with that. Um, but the only one we need right now uh, is this prepare for segue. So I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a little space here. Update it to my preferred spacing uh, and get rid of some of these comments, right? So I know what this thing is supposed to do. You can read the comments if you want. Uh, just to kind of follow what's considered best practice, I'm not really sure if it's that useful, but you can check the uh, the segue identifier uh, to make sure it's equal to the thing that we know it is, which is the show task detail segue. There's only one way out of this view controller, and that is the identifier, uh, but it should be safe to do that as long as you were like really careful about the string being the same. So what we want to do is we want to uh, pass in the list, uh, and we also want to pass in the task. Before we can like pass them in, we're gonna need access to that other view controller. Uh, because I know it's gonna be necessary, I'm gonna go ahead and import um, that other view controller. So that's the task detail view controller. And the reason people use this particular method is because it's got um, the destination stored in the segue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say uh, task detail view controller uh, I'll give it a short name just because I'm not going to fit anything if I don't give it a short name. Uh, and that's going to be the Segways uh, Destination View Controller. So now I've got access to the next view controller, which is huge, right? So now I can do things like I can set on him, I can call his, his set list function. And he has a set list function if you go look at him because he has this property for list of tasks, which means he has a set list function. And so what we want to pass in to him is we want to pass in, we're displaying a list, so just pass that list over. And then we also want to uh, pass over a task, right? So if it, if, if it is an edit, pass over the task, what we're going to do is going to be uh, this sender thing. So when it's a create, uh, our sender is nil. So we're going to set the task to be whatever sender is. So for create, it'll be nil, which is fine. And now the trick is we have to make sure that when we click on a row and it calls the segue that we set the sender to be the task. We, we haven't written that method yet, right? So we still need to do that. Uh, so what you can do um, is you can get did select row at index pass. So what I did is I just started typing so I knew it was going to be a void. The first parameter is going to be table view. And the one we want is did select row at index path. Go ahead and make a little bit more space here. So whenever they select a row, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna perform a segue. If you really wanted, you could go see the, the code from before for how we, we call perform segue, uh, but it's pretty straightforward. It's just uh, perform segue, you have to get to the G before it gets there. And we're gonna do the detail task segue, but this time sender is gonna be something. So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to pass in, uh, I'm just gonna call the variable task for row, we're gonna to need to pass in the task for the row. So I'm gonna to have to get that guy. So task for row. And the way that I get him is, well, it's just like what we did before. It's self.task uh, of the index path.row. Cool. 
And so what that's going to do is that's going to uh, get the task for the selected row. It's going to make that the sender. Uh, and then you'll notice that we then use the sender to set the task later. So whenever we have an edit, if they click on the row, uh, it should go over and do the right thing. So now we're getting those two pieces of data passed in. Uh, now we need to do something with them. The first thing that I'd like to do with them is uh, this to do. So we're kind of doing create and edit uh, kind of side by side. So if it is uh, an edit, uh, and so we know that it's an edit uh, by if somebody set the task, right? So if the task is not nil, uh, then we want to set the, uh, the text uh, in this view. It's easier to do than it is to describe. Uh, text field text uh, is equal to the self.task. Um, and that field, that property is called task, right? And then we also want to set the uh, state of starred. Uh, so starred is equal to, um, so it's the self.task.starred, which is an NS number. We want his bool value. Uh, great, so we're making good progress, uh, but I want to do some more stuff uh, before, before we get too much into it. The next thing I want to do is I want to hide the delete button. So in order to hide the delete button, uh, what you do is you uh, hide the delete button by changing the bar button items array uh, in the toolbar, right? So what you have to do is you have to grab that array uh, and you want, instead of a normal array, we're going to be modifying it so we want a mutable array. Uh, so this is just, uh, let's call it toolbar buttons. Um, and what it is is it's self.toolbar, because that's what we made that IB outlet, it's items and we want a mutable copy of it. And the reason it's mutable is because we're going to modify it, right? In SRAs, by default, you cannot modify them. So we want to remove object, we want to remove the delete button, and then once we've removed it, we just want to write it back, right? So we just want to say, um, oops, I meant to say self.toolbar uh, dot items is equal to uh, toolbar buttons. Great. So that should hide the uh, delete button. Uh, if um, it's a create, so there should be no delete button. So if I click on this guy, you can say I lost all my list. I've, I've had a day or two pass since the last video. If I click on plus, uh, there should be no um, delete button down there, which is great. By the way, you also notice the keyboard was kind of annoying for me there. Um, and so in the next video, we're gonna do some more stuff with the keyboard. So the delete button doesn't show up there. Um, if you click on a, a row, which I don't currently have any, um, the delete button should be there. So hopefully that worked for you. And once I have a save, I'll, I'll test it out as well. Great, so things are going good. Our view is showing up correctly. The real thing we're missing uh, is, is a save, right? So when they click save, it could be a create uh, or it could be an edit. There are some things that we wanna do always. So we always wanna set the, the task uh, we always want to set the starred. Um, if it's a create, we'll have to actually like create it and, and set the parent. So we're going to be tricky, right? So we're going to say self.task. Um, if self.task is nil, what we're going to do is we're going to make it, right? So the way you make an object which can be saved in core data is that crazy NS entity description uh, insert method. Um, so insert object for name. Uh, I'm going to be evil again, and I'm just going to hard code the task. I'm not sure why I've been evil about that one and, and good about other things, but I just felt like being evil. Um, in managed object context, I'm going to use my core data utils. Uh, so that's going to create the task. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do everything else the same, regardless of whether it's an edit or a create. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set uh, the list to be self.list. Now, if it's an edit, that's unnecessary because you're just resetting the same parent. Uh, but if it's a create, it's important. Uh, I'm gonna set the task property uh, to whatever is in the uh, the text field there. So I believe we've got a task text field dot text. Uh, I'm gonna be setting the starred value uh, equal to an NS number. So I'm gonna say number with bool of self.starred. Um, and those are the only things that we have to do uh, to, to modify a task, which is kind of cool. 
And then the next thing is uh, dismiss view controller animated, sure, completion handler nil. So voila, we still have to test it, uh, but this should do create um, and it should do update. There's still gonna be one little minor bug, uh, but we'll just, we'll just let it happen and then we'll figure it out. So if I click on create, uh, so I'll say send flowers. You notice the keyboard is up. Uh, if I hit return, um, that makes it go away. So I can hit save on this. Um, so the problem is, where is send flowers? I just, I just typed send flowers. Shouldn't send flowers be here? If I hit back, I can see that there is one there uh, and there's send flowers. So that's, that's the bug I was warning you about. The bug is when you pop off a view controller, you go to the state that the other one was in. And if there's no code to like reload the changes, it, it doesn't happen. So we're gonna have to go back into the task view controller. Um, and we actually uh, wanna do stuff in view will appear. So in view will appear, what we really wanna do is we wanna make sure uh, that that task array gets reloaded. The way you force a reload is you set it to nil uh, and then you uh, reload the table. So, the reason nothing was showing up is because it wasn't refreshing. So anytime the view will appear, so whether you're coming back to it or here for the first time, we're gonna blow away the task. So we're gonna set them to nil, uh, and then we're gonna reload the data. The first time this happens, there's a chance it'll happen twice. I'm not worried about it. Um, ooh, it looks like I actually made a much bigger bug. Um, I forgot to save. Um, let's go back and let's revisit this. And hopefully, when you saw me typing this, you you were screaming um, and you were saying, make sure you save it, uh, because nothing happens with core data unless you save the context. So yeah, definitely need to save. So the thing I typed before, just it wasn't ever permanently saved. So let's just try this again. So send flowers. Great. Save that up. It's here right away. Super. Um, mow the lawn. Uh, let's go ahead and make this one starred because it really needs to get mowed, right? Um, you can see that those things worked, which is cool. Um, those probably don't fit under the iOS dev list. Uh, mow the lawn, if you would click on it, uh, you can see that it pops up starred, uh, and I can add exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Um, the keyboard, by the way, is still kind of annoying me, uh, but I can click on save, uh, and you can see it modifies that. Send flowers, I'll just give it one exclamation point and a star. Uh, and I'll save that. And so you can see that we've got create uh, and we've got update. If you try to click on delete, by the way, uh, don't expect anything to happen because we haven't written that yet. Uh, but we do have create and update uh, both done. Glance into the slides, just to kind of look at some things we did. Uh, you know, we hid the delete button. Uh, here's where we saved the task off. Uh, the most important line, which I forgot for a little bit of saving the context. Um, and then this trick of um, it wasn't showing you the task when you came back because you needed to make sure that the list updated. Great, uh, so everything should be working for both create uh, and update. So really the only task we have left is delete, uh, but I'll, I'll warn you that I'm gonna take another detour and that's that I'm still a little annoyed about the keyboard, right? Like when you click in the white space, the keyboard should go away and, and there's some other things we can make cleaner. All right, so next time we'll fix up the keyboard. Uh, after that, we gotta do delete. And then we're, we're almost done with this baby. All right, see you next time.